Okay, hi. So this is Jacqueline Cruz, also known as Jackinator. Um, I will be painting uh, Draw This In Your Style based off of this picture. So based on this artist called JKO underscore art. Um, beautiful drawing. So this is my version. I will be using uh, the Koi watercolors. You know, it's a little, a little thing. Kind of, uh, yeah, it's messy. Um, and some Micron ink pens. Uh, not really too sure. I might just use the black and the red one also for like blood and gore type of stuff. And this water brush. It's, you know, it's just a medium size. Um, I don't tend to work with smaller brushes, but, you know, it, it gets the job done. So, before I forget, I'm also going to use some tissue. Um, this is just to blot down any... Um, paint I mess up with because I tend to make lots of mistakes with watercolor. I don't really know how to use it. Um, and yeah, um, some of this, you know, time lapse and drawing might be out of frame, and I apologize for that. My setup is, you know, not the best, but I'm trying. I will try showing the whole drawing afterwards. But yeah, let's let's get started. Um, first, I'm just gonna erase the sketch. I don't want it to like give the paint any type of muddy color. Which, you know, it, it might give it a good effect, honestly, but I'm not going to risk it. Like, I don't, I don't want to redo all of this again, <laughs> so let's just erase that. Yeah. This is why um, kneaded erasers are better rather than this plastic one. It doesn't really do a good job erasing anything. It's, it kind of wants to tear the paper apart, so let's, you know what, I think... That will just be all for now. Uh, let's base the colors off the original picture. I don't want to go straight too far from it. So, the original has, like, lots of pinks, oranges, for, like, the body. Some black for the um, little bodysuit and grays and whites. I like, for my art at least, I like giving it an, a damaged look, right? I like making it seem like the person is, like, swelling or... They're bleeding out type of thing. That's just a uh, personal preference. You know, if someone wants to copy, like, do a draw your own style for this one, feel free to do whatever you want. This is just personally, I like this type of aesthetic, I guess you can say. Okay, so let's try to get started. And hope I don't mess up. Okay. So. Let me just make sure there's not too much water on this. But I... I kind of need water, but at the same time, not too much. Okay, let's look at the reference again. I don't want to mess it up already. Um, we'll start off with a light wash of red. So it can come come across as like pink. Um, for this palette, this color right here is kind of a pink. Not really. Um, yeah, I mean. It's basically a pink, but still, don't don't really want to risk it. So let's just water it down. Okay. So let's start off with the face. Easiest part, I guess. making it too dark so let's kind of blot it down okay getting somewhere Oof, okay that is not picking up anything yet yeah, my paints are really old so they will not pick up as much colors as other paints so yeah, uh, I'm still going to try my best, but please excuse any, you know, off colors and stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to get an effect of, I guess her face is kind of cut open, right? So we will have to darken it with some black, probably some purples if anything, but black is like a safer bet. Especially if I'm not going to ink it um, with a black micron, I can just use paint to kind of 
give it that effect. So let's make sure not to cover the bodysuit. That's that's gonna be a whole other issue. Um, oh no, I kind of like that. So the shoulder, where would the light come from? Because I'm assuming if she's facing this way as well as this, the brightness might be coming from this direction while the back is the, the shadow. So this side might be more brighter and this is darker. Okay. Well, guys, don't don't really trust me when it comes to the lighting and stuff like that because I am really bad at it. I just kind of wing it and hope that no one kind of calls me out on it. You know, do, do your research, I guess. I should probably take my advice, but um, yeah. I want to add some Add this blue right here. See if it comes off. Yeah, kind of add that. Probably to shadow it, I guess. This is a ripped eye, so it should have like a darker effect to it. So I will try deepening the colors if I can. Who knows? I kind of want to add black already, but let me not rush. I'm trying to make it similar to this drawing, so I kind of want to apply green and purples right away. Give it a more sharper look, I guess, but let's see. This would be green because it's a torn up eye, so you would think that the socket would be more bruised skin. So we do have to add that effect. But keep in mind, this is watercolor, so it will take a while to dry. So I'm, I'm kind of being impatient and just layering up, which is kind of bad. It can tear the paper, so try not to copy me too much. Let's add some red also, because red is beautiful. Yes. I love when it bleeds through each other. I know it kind of ruins the point of watercolor, but it's so pretty. Look at the little blood spots. some red, some blue, oof, okay, some blue, I guess, a perfect, a darker purple, perfect effect, a little more red to kind of give it more bloody tones, I guess, and then let's see, do it around here, because those are open wounds, um, again, blot it, don't want it too dark, so blot it down, So while we wait for that to dry, let's add some more greens. Yes, beautiful. I guess this kind of gives it an effect that she's like um, an alien or something, which, you know, th that's a pretty good like type of thing. Kind of what I'm going for, I guess. She does look pretty alien-like. So these are, um, I don't think I put them as eyes. This is like going to be the only eye. Maybe these three are mini eyes. These would be more, um, the bone is like, the skin is torn and the bones are showing. So I do want to make it more um, purple and red based. And blue, like some blue to kind of give it that, you know. Vessels are broken type of thing. 
pretty sure about to be dry right now, so let's try adding a, an extra layer, I guess. A little black. Okay, if the water comes out, ooh. The only bad thing about th these type of brushes, the water is really hard to control, but it's convenient, so. Wait, let's take a quick break.